All right. Hey, everybody. Today I am doing a tutorial. I don't really know what I'm going to title this yet. It's kind of weird. But basically I'm going to show you guys how to use any of my past effects that don't have a keynote download and have like add your own titles because um, I figured that if you had like Final Cut Pro or I maybe you would just use like the centered title. But most of the time it's not always going to be centered or it might like look weird. I don't know. But for the most part, a lot of people have been using this um, training title of mine. Uh, the first one that's ever come out. Oh, okay. I just well, a lot of people seem to like this one. And I just muted the audio so that you wouldn't like hear it. But a lot of people seem to like that one. And I've actually seen a lot of people use this one. So what you want to do is take a screenshot it up. Oh, screenshot it, what? A screenshot of like the green part. And it could be of the YouTube video, like, you can download it and take a screenshot of it because it can be kind of hard to take a screenshot um, because this bar will always be here unless you play it and then move the mouse, but it's going to be kind of hard. But uh, to save time, I already took the thumbnail, or not the, yeah, it's a screenshot, so, um, yeah, but I'm going to open Keynote because um, assuming that, or I'm just opening Keynote assuming that you have it, and if you don't, then I am really sorry. But um, yeah, I had to take the screenshot really fast, so it's not exactly centered or anything, but we'll just go with it. So then what you want to do is you add your text. So let's just do tutorial because that's what this video is. And I'm going to size it as big as I want to, you know, do that kind of thing. I kind of like it to be in the center of the title. Or just like slightly above the line so that looks pretty good and then um, what you do is you delete the background and you can animate the text however you want to uh, I'm just gonna do typewriter and then I'm gonna export it to a quick time and then we can just export it as untitled go take a second go eat a chip while this happens Now, I'm going to just open up Keynote. I mean, what? <laughs> iMovie. Oh, yeah. I didn't download the video yet, so I should probably do that. So I can better show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to download the actual green screen real quick. And if you guys want to know how to... Oh, gosh. If you guys want to know how to download videos, then just go to the link in the description that I always have. And it has a video linked, and it shows you guys how to download videos. Now we're... This is actually my... A, new, a video on my main channel and you guys can go watch it if you'd like <laughs> um, oh that's cute uh, yeah it's a summer outfit inspiration right now I'm just going to import the text and also the actual green screen and then what you want to do is overlay this onto the um, Title green screen. I, f I couldn't, I don't know, I can't talk. And then if you're in iMovie, you change it into a green screen. Um, or if you're in Final Cut Pro, do the same thing. I just don't really know how you're supposed to do that. Um, and you might want to speed it up because Keynote does like, take a while. Like, it really does slow stuff down. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's basically what you do. And it should animate according to your thing, you know? But yeah, that is pretty much how you do this. Um, then you want to save this whole thing as a separate like clip and then overlay it on top of a, another clip. And that is pretty much it. The only reason you have to do that is because of I may be not allowing multiple um, picture in pictures or multiple, I don't really know, like layers. I don't remember what the word was. But. Um, if you're in Final Cut Pro, then it won't matter. You just make like a new compo compound clip, I think, and um, like merge the two clips together. Like, I don't know. I, it's kind of hard to explain. I know how to do it in Final Cut Pro. And if you need a tutorial, then let me know. But it's pretty much the same thing. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Hope you guys understand everything. And uh, 